Hello and welcome to episode 56 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be on forestry, the planting and growing of trees. Now there's quite a few things actually um, that I want to show you and mention uh, additional to forestry. So first of all though, uh, let's mention this. Now as you know, as we've been going along, we've been eating trail mix which is good but um, I don't know about you but I get sick of eating tr just trail mix so I decided to start um, doing a few more shellfish traps and eating that because as we all know variety in your diet is always a good thing so if I just show you you can see that I've built quite a few more now fish traps so what I've been doing is going and terraforming with the um, clay from the terraforming I've been making urns and plant pots and whilst terraforming of course not only do you get the um, items that give you lots of proficiencies points um, bits of wood I forget what their name are name the name of the item is but also you you get lots and lots of uh, common earthworms and grubs now what I was doing erroneously before was just simply filling my shellfish traps with the grubs and the common earthworms now the common earthworms are fine but it's a complete waste if you just put your grubs straight into the shellfish traps what you should be doing once you've done your terraforming once you've made your turn your clay into urns and plant pots so you can move again then the next thing to do is go into your farmers house go to your stove ah okay but before you go into your farmers house go open up the crafting menu go to slugs and bugs through cooking and sizzled grub then go into your farmer's house then click on your stove and what you should be doing is cooking up all of your grubs before putting them into the shellfish traps the reason you do that is because then there's a high chance of you getting uh, lard and of course lard is excellent in itself now before I cook all of these up let's show you something else so I've been busy in the last week and I've been doing my humors as you can see now I've got uh, my phlegm and yellow bile to 50 my blood I've raised to 45 and my black bile to 49 so I'm gonna get all my humors to 50 now the easiest way to when you get this when you're starting to get to late 40s is there's a few items you can create food wise which will make it very easy one of them is frogetti now with frogetti there are two different components you can use you can either use sizzled use uh, grubs for making your frogetti if you use grubs as the component so let's just bring up oh, got to come out of here let's just show you the recipe for frogetti so into food into slugs bugs frogetti okay now in here you can see it requires a charred milkweed jute a uh, fiber which is easy to get a frog which is easy to get and there's three different types of bugs you can use if you use the uh, grub you will get a yellow bile um, frogetti so it will boost your yellow bile do you see that 40.2 uh, into the yellow bile if you use a caterpillar you will get mm, I thought I'd done lots so let's just check that I'm not telling you something incorrectly here. Let's put that yellow one back because I don't need that at the moment. Ah, no, okay. So anyway, what I've been doing is turning, making yellow bile frogetti 
blue bile froggetti, red bile fro froggetti. Now, I'm good, what I'm going to quickly do, just to sort this out, I just want to try and remember what the caterpillar does. So what I'm going to do is grab, how many do I need? One of them. Grab a frog, if I can remember where I put the frogs which is highly unlikely that I have remembered where I put the frogs. But if I can show you this, it'll make your lives uh, much easier. With, uh, there you go. With raising your humours, it's so easy. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you use the right uh, components. Okay, caterpillar is what I need now. And I believe I've got an urn full of caterpillars. Let's grab one of them. Oh, I've got caterpillars everywhere and because I want to find them now it does not want to let me I mean for goodness sake I just went out digging and got a load of caterpillars and I put them somewhere the trouble is the more urns I'm getting the more disorganized my mess is becoming Ah, okay, well let's grab one more frog, just in case I've managed to find the caterpillar. Okay, well what I'll do is I'll get to showing you that at the end. For now, let's continue on with all the things I wanted to mention, because there is a lot and I'm wasting time. Your precious time. Okay, one other thing I've done is expanded on my beehives. The reason for that is because I'm going to be going into fruit trees pretty soon. Uh, whether you are or not, I'm not sure you'll decide that. But, of course, beehives are good for pollinating the fruit trees. Not only that, beehives, once you've put the queen bee in and about nine drones, you can pretty much leave the hive and just check it once a day to make sure there isn't a second queen bee in there. The, re the main reason for having the beehives is for getting royal jelly. Royal jelly is a fantastic one for boosting up your proficiencies. Okay, also, I've told you about the fel shellfish trap, so I'm using that now to generate a load of food. Okay, let's get on to forestry. So let's bring up the skills so I mentioned to you about learning forestry and I don't know if you wanted to learn green thumbs as well but I have and um, that helps my plants to grow quicker um, I believe it does the trees as well because the trees do seem to be growing quicker now but anyway forestry so we've learned that skill we can now grow trees so let's show you a little now about the forestry skill first of all how do we start with forestry the first thing you will need to do, apart from make a load more plant pots, is you need tree cuttings. So find trees. <clears throat> After learning forestry, when you right click on a tree, you now have an extra option, strike cutting. Be aware that when you strike a cutting, it will chew up a bit of food, or a bit of your phlegm. If you watch, it doesn't take long to get it, but it does take a chunk of your your um, blue bile, your your phlegm. So let's get, you can get two cuttings off of each tree. So let's get another one. Notice it jumped down up there, but it doesn't matter now. This is one of the reasons why I've started to use shellfish, because you'll see it gives me a big chunk of uh, phlegm back. Okay, so let's move to the next tree <clears throat> and get some more cuttings. And another one. Okay. Let's walk down here a little further. Oh, water in my way. OK, 
okay let's show you now a tree you can't get a, a cutting from you used to be able to but not anymore spruce trees which as you know gives us the pine nuts which is a component of the trail mix okay you used to be able to strike a cutting off of spruce trees you cannot anymore because it is done through a different skill so let's show you that skill now some of you may want to follow me my path that I've taken with the skills and some of you obviously will not what I've done is I've opened up the skill for planting um, spruce trees and the other nut trees by learning the skill shrub orchards now be aware it's not going to be for all of you because look at the high amount of proficiencies you need I must have went through three million um, inspirational points um, yes drinking potions as you can see up here where I've got still quaffed and quenched but I was drinking the potions alongside raising my humors which is what I strongly advise all of you to do don't just drink potions for the sake of it and don't just raise humours make sure you're doing both raise humours as you need to raise your inspiration okay because that's maximum efficiency because you can only drink so many potions before you have to gobble so no point in drinking potions if you're not prepared to raise up some humours so what I'm doing is I've stopped with the um, raising my humours because I don't need to drink potions at the moment oh, there's my inspiration so once I need to drink uh, potions again then I'll start raising my humours I will raise a humour to cancel out the effects of drinking a potion the quaffed and quenched once that's erased I can then drink more potions to top back up the quaffed and quenched then I will gobble to raise another humour to erase the quaffed and quenched so hopefully you understand that okay let's get a couple more cuttings okay here's another nut tree you cannot strike a cutting off of this nut tree again you need to learn shrub orchards once you learn shrub orchards it unlocks the skill nut orchards with nut orchards we will be able to plant this tree well we'll be able to plant the nuts from this tree and the spruce tree and that then will grow these trees and also the chestnut tree so that's what if you want to learn the skill nut orchards you have to learn the skill first shrub orchards also another skill that's unlocked when you learn shrub orchards is um, oh I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it in all of this I forget what it's called oh of course fruit orchards so let's go up here there you go fruit orchards and yes it's now getting nasty with the amount of uh, points that you're going to need I mean look at that 18,000 in herbs and sprouts and if we look at my herbs and sprouts I'm only on 11,000 so I've got loads to get and as for natural orchards not so severe on the herbs and sprouts but look at the flora and fauna 11,500 and I'm only on 6,000 so nearly half so I've got a long way to go before I can do them no rush just wanted to make sure you knew the path though to learning to grow the nut trees which you do now okay are there any more trees I can get cuttings from yeah here so we can get some maple cuttings because that's another nice tree to grow so I'll get two more cut oh no I can get uh, another cutting from the birch tree just so I've got a variety to show you okay so let's now get a cutting from the birch tree and then we can go take a look what we do with these okay let's strike a cutting and yes the way I raised up my um, herbs and sprouts so high to 11,600 was using the birch bark origami so basically peel loads of bark and make loads of birch bark origami 
Okay, I better eat something. Right, I've got all my cuttings. Let's now show you then how we plant and grow trees. What I'm hoping to do, I'm going in totally the wrong direction. What am I doing? Okay, now what I'm hoping to do in this episode on forestry is answer all the questions you could possibly have governing forestry, as in the planting, when they're ripe, when how you plant them, how you grow them. So I'm hoping to cover all of it. Of course I won't cover everything, no doubt there'll be some silly things I miss out, but as long as I've done the main things. The first thing was that you have to pick your cuttings. Once you've got your cuttings, you then need obviously a plant pot. Okay, so over here you can see I've been busy making plant pots. So let's then first prepare a plant pot. We will need water and one humus. So let's go find one that I've not done, which is just here. Okay, so get your bucket, put some water in the plant pot by right clicking on it. Then put a humus in there. Now here's a little tip for you and it's a good tip do not put plant pots and grow plants or trees over your fields because what will happen is you will misclick and it will use the humus into a field and you'll thereby waste your humus or you'll need another humus then so by putting it on non field areas there's no risk of you doing that okay so we have our cutting let's now plant to one of them so you see I've put one I put water in there one humus then left click on your cutting and right click on the plant pot and you see it's planted okay your first question then how do you know when a tree is ready to be planted well if we walk let's close that we walk over here you can see there's a birch tree there's a maple tree and I can't think off the top of my head what this tree is, but these trees are ready to be planted. How do we know whether they are? Well, let's first show you with a tree that is not ready. If you right click on the pot that has the tree, okay, let's say this tree here, you've come back after a day or two and you want to know whether it's ready for you to plant. If you right click on the pot, it will open it and show you this. If the tree, however, is ready to be planted, it's grown fully in its pot, Right when you right click on it, nothing happens. So let's show you with the birch. Okay. Is this tree ready to be planted, you're asking? Well, if it is not, it will do the same as when I right clicked on that one and open up the pot. If it is ready, when I right click like this, you can see nothing is happening. Okay. What's something else that can happen when you plant your trees? Well, there's a high risk chance that the, whilst when you've begun just learnt forestry, while your skills are low, you're going to get lots of failures. Okay, so dem to demonstrate the failure rate, over here I planted four trees in the pots. Only one of them has grown. The other three have died. What happens is when you plant trees, there is a high chance in the beginning that they're just going to die and turn into a branch. So if I right click this and pick, you will see in my pocket now I have a branch. So basically, you have to rewater, rehumus, and plant another sprout. Okay, so what you want to do each day check all of your pots and the ones that have turned to twigs just quickly go around and pick them and either put them in your stove or in your kiln or anything else that needs firewood okay so there we go right so that's dealing with the ones that uh, die that don't grow how do we plant the trees Okay, walk to near one of the trees that you want to plant. Go to your adventure menu, lift, the, uh, click the lift button. Let's close that. Click on the pot. 
Okay, now you just need to decide where you want to plant the tree. Now it's a birch tree and I'm going to be able to want to pick um, bark from it to carry on with my birch bark origami. So what I will do is I will build a forest. Now observe my area. Scarcely any trees. That is going to change. So let's go over to here where the lonesome perch tree is and let's give it a companion. Now what I advise doing is bringing up your landscape tool, grab, grab the area around. So if I was going to plant a whole line of trees, which I am, Okay, I would want to do them nice and tightly together. So let's go over here next to this birch tree. To plant this tree, you simply right click on the area you want to plant. Now I want to make sure that I get it right in the middle of this tile. So by doing it on the cross there, that should be center. When you right click, this option comes up and plant. And there we go, you see the little cute tree there? That will grow into one of these, nice and big. Okay, we retain the plant pot, which is really cool. And now I can get busy planting a whole forest of birch trees and assorted other trees. It's not just going to be birch. Okay, now for some reason, it's not letting me move. Okay, well, the game seems to have got upset with me. But that, my friends, is forestry. So now you will all be able to grow your own forests. Um, but remember, with certain trees like the birch trees, useful for getting the birch bark off of them, so plant them there. What you might want to do, though, is for the other trees, put a perimeter around your claim. And that's an extra line of defence. Right, I don't think there's anything else for me to mention. That is forestry pretty well covered. Okay, let's just quickly look at the skills. So I'm going to be carrying on to try to get to nut orchards. And also I want to do um, fruit orchards. Because if we go into cooking you will notice there is an area for fruits. And so hopefully this will expand as I learn more skills to do with fruits. And we can see if there's any good foods in there. So there we are. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode on forestry. Goodbye.